Now, continuing on with the second part, we've covered um, Hades. Now, Hades was the Greek god of the underworld, and he was also the god of wealth, because the underworld <laughs> is the ground, okay? Yeah, forgetting about all the mythology attached, the basic simple fact is that they, he was the god of wealth because he ruled the underworld, and the underworld, the grave, was the ground, okay? And that's why he was known as the god of wealth, because wealth comes from the ground, okay? Now, when you look into the New Testament, which is written in Greek, and you find the word rich, you go into the word rich. Now, remember, Hades and Pluto is the same um, god. Pluto was just the, um, the Latin name. All right. Now, when you look at the word rich, Strong's G forty one forty five, plusias. It means wealthy. Plusias. Yeah, wealthy, abounding in material resources. Now, where do material resources come from? They come from the ground. All right. They come from the ground. Gold, silver, everything comes out of the ground. Resources. Now, let me show you. That when you go to the etymology of the name Pluto, Roman god of the underworld. What is the underworld? Some mythical place? No, the underworld was actually the ground. Okay. Roman god of the underworld from Latin Pluto. Pluton from the Greek Pluton. God of wealth from Plutos. Wealth, riches. All right. So you, you got to understand the alternative Greek name of Hades in his function as the god of wealth. Precious metals and gems coming from beneath the earth form part of his realm. Okay, so you got you, you thing is you got to understand the, 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 the mythology to what the reality is. The reality of the situation is that hell, the physical place, which is hell, is the earth the the ground the or the grave because that's where people are buried right which is why pluto the the so-called god of the underworld was also the god of wealth because everyone knew that's where wealth came from from the earth from the ground now in some mythological way they thought that somewhere because you put dead people in the ground they thought that somewhere deep deep in the ground the spirits of men were, were wandering around catching hell. No, no. All right. Hell can represent a low condition and that low condition you experience, which you may call hell, is played out here on earth. Okay, this on earth is where the wicked are punished. Okay. On earth is where the Israelites that were being wicked were punished. When Israel was wicked, Israel was not punished after death in some mythical place. Israel was punished here on earth. They were born into a curse and punished with captivity, with being slain, with being subject unto payments. This, this realm that we live in can be heaven or hell, depending on the judgment of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And like I said, hell can represent a low estate. Heaven can represent a high estate or a high living condition. All right. Right now over there in Syria where they're fighting that war. That's hell for them people. That's a low condition. All right. This this is where people are punished. When the scriptures say the Lord's going to bring the nations down to hell, it's talking about them being on the punishment here on earth. This is where you feel pain. This is where you feel sorrow. This is where you can be judged. Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun a place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. All right. This, this place, this earth is a place of judgment. And the Lord can be it for good for you, or he can be it for evil. It's in the hand of the Lord. All right? It's that simple. So let me recap for you. Let's understand it again. Sheol, or hell, is the ground, which is also the grave. 
where dead things, man, woman, dog, are buried and consumed in the flesh. Okay? Metaphorically, hell can represent a low condition or a low place, which is someone living a bad life. Okay? Heaven is in the sky. Heaven can represent a higher state. Living good. Both those things are present here on earth. A high condition and a low condition. Okay? When you're talking about some mythical region where souls are punished under the ground, now you've gone into the realm of Greek mythology and that is not biblical. That is not biblical. The judgment of that are the punishments which are written in these scriptures are performed on earth. Okay? That's why the scriptures even tells you in the book of Psalms that the Israelites are going to have a two-edged sword to execute the judgments written. <laughs> okay? We're going to put the nations in hell. They're going to be in a lower state, man, as punishment. Just like Israel has been in hell. Israel has been in a lower state as punishment, man. Ugh, anyway, that's that's just my thoughts on it, man. With that, I'm going to say shalom.